they're getting a big commission and you can see why they'd rather not share that perhaps with the rest of the company. Partial data redaction. I want to use data redaction. It's a very cool little tool, but only a subset of the rows need to be redacted. How can I do it? And it's one of those unfortunate things where I've literally done a demo of this in the past and shown how it works. And it gets a little bit more complicated nowadays. But let's do a demo to show you how this can be done. The, the demo I'm doing is I've got my employees table and the rule is I should not expose the commission values, but only for the salesman. So let's flip over to a demo and build that. So here's my table called employee. It's simply a copy of the scott.employee table. And you can see for some of the people there, they have a job of salesman and they get a commission. And you can see our salesman get a, down the bottom there. They're getting a big commission. And you can see why they'd rather not share that perhaps with the rest of the company. We want to redact that. I'm gonna connect as another user. So my own account owns the table. Another user called end user, you can see there at the top. And they've been granted privileges to query that data. And that's where the cause of consternation is. Our salespeople are going, I don't want our end users seeing our commissions. So let's have a crack at how we would do this with data redaction. So let's show data redaction, how it works first for an entire table. It's pretty simple. I simply add a policy. You can see I nominate the table name. I give it a name. I choose an expression. And then I say for the commission column, I want to redact it fully. And there's all sorts of options there, but I've chosen to do it full and it's best explained by seeing what comes out. As myself, the owner of the table, I can still see all the data, but if I connect as the end user, when they query the empt table, all of a sudden they can only see zeros for the commission value. And that's what data redaction is. It's simply masking away sensitive values. Now I wanna stress, this is not like a security guarantee. People think of redaction as, oh, it's impossible therefore to, to, to you know, see sensitive data. It's not. This is a convenience factor to avoid your applications having to do it themselves. But that's what data redaction is. It's really avoiding people from accidentally seeing sensitive data. It's no way a guaranteed protection mechanism. If I wanted to see, what's that, the very last row, Turner's commission, I would simply do select where commission equals one. If I get no rows, his commission isn't one where his commission is two. And I'd simply loop through continuously. Eventually I'll get one row back where his commission is whatever it was, 6,000. Data redaction is useful for when people do not have ad hoc query. It's really an application convenience. I wanna stress that. So we can see how data redaction works, but I've redacted everything, not just the salesman. So how do I do it? Well, you can redact a table, but you can also redact a view. So here's how I could tackle it. I'll drop the policy on the entire table. And I'll add this policy. Now I've got an expression saying only add the policy where the job is the salesman. And therefore that would only restrict it to those rows. This looks good, but of course it doesn't work. It's illegal. There are actually very strong restrictions on what can be in that expression. And typically it's things like what user you are, various context variables, etc. It's not like a broad ranging, just throw in a where clause. It's more about the person accessing the data as opposed to the data itself. So you can't just do that. This is what I can do though. I'll take away the ability for my end users to see the entire table. And I'll create a couple of views. One's called the imp salesman view, which is just the rows who are salesmen, And one is everyone else. So I've got imp salesman and imp other. And now if I create a view called imp all, that becomes the sum total of all the rows in the employee table. Now, when I query emp all, it looks just like the employee table. I'll grant that to the end user so he can see the, the emp all view. Then I can create a synonym called emp for emp all. And now when I connect as end user, I can see this thing called the employee table, which is really my view called emp all. Now that it's two distinct views, I can come back in and I'll add a redaction policy to just one of the views. So I'll take my emp salesman view and add a redaction policy for the commission column just on that view. That's one of the cool things redaction, you can do it on just a view as well as a table. So now when I connect as end user and query select star from emp, it's piecing apart those two views and you can see that the commission there is masked for or redacted just for the salesman. 
And that is exactly how it will work in Oracle 12C. But sadly, this entire demo, that last query there, is all fake. I can prove it to you. What I actually did was to make it look like it worked. If I scroll back, you can see I actually had a file here called redact.sql and all it is is doing dbmessoutput.putline what you are hoping to see from the SQL statement. Yes, I faked it. It does work exactly like that in 12C. The problem is we discovered that that actually opens up some security issues because one of the very cool things with the optimizer is if it can see things like union all queries, the optimizer has some smarts to go, ah, oh, I can, for example, merge those two halves into one pass through the table. The optimizer is good at transforming queries such that they look different before they're optimized. And that transformation may impact the way we redact data. If you've got a half redacted view and a non redacted view, if you bring them together, obviously you end up with a bit of a mess. This is actually what you really see once you get to 18 or 19, you try to this and it says, uh, uh, you're trying to use redaction on something that we will not allow redaction on because it opens up a security hole. So the fact that it did work in the very first release of the 12C is actually not a great thing. And that's why we patched it out. So unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. So what do you do? Even if you grant the individual views to the end user and then connect, Yes, they'll see the redacted information if they query the view, they can query emp salesman and it's redacted. They can query emp other, it's not redacted. But if they try to do their own union all, even just you know, in their own session, they get the same error. It's not an issue with the fact that we had a view doing a union all, it's the fact that the union all itself, the optimizer may transform away and therefore introduce security problems. So DBMS redaction, cannot be used to do a partial redaction natively. Uh, it used to be able to, but no longer. So how do you do it? Unfortunately, you pretty much have to go back to first principles. So in this case, I can drop those two views. I can create a single view where I've done the redaction. You can see there for the salesman, I've simply said, let's pass back zero as the commission. And for not salesman, I'll pass back the commission. So I've literally hard coded the redaction myself into a view, give that to the end user. When they connect now, you can see they get the result we were after. And that's a real one, that's not faked. So it's an unfortunate thing where DBMS redact or DMS redact will not work for partial data set redaction, but there's a very good reason for that is because it exposes yourself to security issues. And as you're pretty much aware, uh, here at Oracle, security pretty much takes precedence over everything.